If you live in North America, chances are you've got one of these growing somewhere in your yard. In fact, all babies born in the United States receive a complimentary Prosythia bush as they leave the womb. Prosythia are native in Eastern Asia, primarily China, and one species is native in Europe. And for sure in those regions, this plant has ecological value. But here in North America, it really has nothing to offer either our birds or our pollinators. And some states are even starting to recognize it as an invasive species. So here are three things you might like about your Prosythia and some native options to replace it. The main reason we use Prosythia so much is that it's an early bloomer, but so are many of our natives. Spicebush is a beautiful shrub or small tree that blooms with yummy yellow flowers early in the spring. It's a well-behaved native that's an important larval host for several butterflies, including the spicebush swallowtail. In fall, the leaves turn a beautiful yellow and it has pretty red berries that will attract birds. Father Gilla is another early bloomer with white bottle brush flowers that come out around April. This one also has a gorgeous vivid red fall color. Witch hazel is the third option with extremely early blooms, even as early as January, depending on your weather. It has small but showy flowers that vary from yellow to orange to red. Maybe you like Prosythia because you love the color yellow. St. John's wort is a sweet, happy little shrub that is covered in yellow blooms through late summer and early fall. It can tolerate a wide range of conditions and has a nice round habit. And it's apparently a bee magnet. Speaking of bees, be sure to subscribe if you want to hear more from this dorky garden lady. I have two St. John's warts coming this spring and I can't wait to get them in my garden. There's also a second species of witch hazel that has yellow blooms in the fall. Planting both the spring and fall bloomers ensures a nectar source for pollinators during the most challenging seasons. The only real value Prosythia might have for birds in North America is that it can provide a dense thicket that they can use to hide in while they forage for bugs on the ground. I've noticed a few birds like our catbirds will also use it to nest, but a better option is winterberry holly. It's a beautiful native that readily suckers and can spread to form a large thicket. Winterberry holly is thought to be among the most attractive of our flowering shrubs to the bees, and it has gorgeous red berries that persist over the winter months, giving an important food source for the birds, and making a stunning addition to a winter garden. A second option for a dense thicket is pussy willow, which is popular with many bird species for both nesting and cover. It's also a very early bloomer, so great for those early emerging pollinators. A few years back, we dug out one large thicket of Prosythia in our yard and replaced it with some flowering dogwood and some native ferns. We're slowly working in some more plant diversity with time, but the birds love scratching around this little shade garden looking for bugs. Hopefully this gives you some new ideas for what to give at your next baby shower.